Because <laughs> it's the same thing. The Illuminati is a council of these tall humanoid aliens. And the, the, uh, the faction of the New World Order, the Bilderbergers, are just the children of these Illuminati. They're hybrids. They're the children of, of the aliens that run this council. And we've got 13 Illuminati bloodlines. I have that information on my site from Fritz Springmeier, who was the one who came out with that and wrote a book on it. And, and these 13 bloodlines are half hybrid, half human, have been well protected. They only intermarry within to keep the, the DNA half human, half hybrid. And these are the children of the Illuminati. And Illuminati is the enlightened ones. That's what these aliens call themselves, the enlightened ones. And, of course, you'll hear these terms all the time <laughs> in secret societies. And I came out with an article about two weeks ago called The Serpent and the Illuminati. And, and what I did was I broke that down uh, and just talked about uh, the serpent seed line and the Illuminati and, and who they are and, and what they do. And the biggest secret about all these secret societies, uh, you have your, your, your levels and your ranks and, of course, Freemasonry. Uh, the levels go up to 33rd degree, and then if you and then if you you pass the 33 the 33rd uh, initiation, it actually goes up to a, uh, I think it's 180. Some have said 360 degrees. So free, so masonry goes a lot higher uh, than what most people think. Most people think it stops at the 33rd degree, and it doesn't. It goes much much higher. And of course, George Bush is one of the highest ranking masons. Uh, he's all the way up. Uh, in the levels of masonry, way past 30, 40, even 50, 60 degrees. He's all the way up there. He's probably one of the highest ranking on Earth. And the biggest secret to these top levels, folks, is that the, uh, and, and these secret societies are owned by aliens. <laughs> you know, I could have saved them years of initiation fees. These are no and aggravation. I mean, we know that the aliens control everything behind the scenes. It doesn't take a genius to figure that out. All you have to do is read the Bible, you know, and, and learn it, learn how Lucifer operates and who he is. You know, and that's just where most people refuse to do is to acknowledge he even exists. And they certainly don't want to learn who he is and how he operates. Uh, but if they did, they would be way up on everybody else in knowledge about what's going on today. You know, and so these secret societies are all controlled at the very top levels by aliens. There's the big shot. You know, so all these people getting into these secret societies thinking that they're going to get, you know, wealth and fame and fortune and, and learning all the big secrets, the deep, dark secrets, and they feel like, you know, they're in the brotherhood. They feel like they're a part of something, and that's the thing. That's what's so attracting about secret societies and secret cults uh, that people feel like they're a part of something, and they just like feeling a part of it, even though they don't understand what they're in. But you don't get to those high, high levels. Uh, without realizing, and once you do know that you're dealing with aliens, this is when you become, uh, you know, uh, you know. Before you might be able to plead ignorance and say, "Well, I was in it, but I didn't know what it was, and finally I learned what it was, and I got out." You know, we've heard those stories. Uh, but when you start knowingly cahooting it uh, with the, with aliens, you know, it's like the Lord told me they will soul scalp you. Uh, they will take over your body. Uh, you know, and they possess you. They will control you. And so that's what happens to all these people uh, that start knowingly to who uh, was aliens. You know, they're, they're not friendly. They don't like you. They don't want to be nice to you. They will play the game. To them, it's a game. And the ultimate, uh, the victor gets earth. You know, it's a game. And so all they're doing is playing the game with the governments around the world. They play the game. They do everything by invitation. You know, they've, they've got all these, uh, you know, they use the Internet uh, to get people to accept them and invite them to come to Earth and act like, oh, yes, we do want you to come to Earth and help help us because you can't, you couldn't keep your own planets from being destroyed, so now you want to come to Earth and destroy ours. But all of a sudden, between destroying your own and, and coming to ours, you've, you've learned from all your own mistakes. <laughs> and it's a laugh, folks. I mean, these beings want to do nothing but destroy and murder mankind. And when they do come, and the judgments of the Lord come because they're here, their presence is here, uh, when they are here is when his judgments will come against this earth. And there's going to be great famine. Famine has always been a judgment of the Lord. 
he will allow the government to use HARP and, and all the governments of the world to use their weather weapon programs to, to force famine because they want to trim down the, tribu- uh, the population numbers as well. The Lord's going to sit back and allow them to. He will use men to fulfill his judgments on this earth for allowing these aliens to come, inviting them for being here. Then we know Lucifer's coming eventually. He gets to rule for 42 months. That's what the whole new world order is about. It's about bringing Lucifer to power for 42 months. And this whole national ID card and this whole chip and planning, uh, chip implantation, it's all part of the agenda. It's all part of the plan. It's all part of their plan to control mankind. You know, he's not omniscient and omnipresent and um, all-powerful like the Lord is. And so he uses technology to accomplish the things that he needs to accomplish. He's very high-tech. And that's where the churches will put you to sleep and paint a false, a false facade of who Satan is, who the devil is. They, picture, they paint him as a, a, you know, he's got horns on his head with a pitchfork standing and how miserable. Well, he's really a very high-tech being, very high-tech. And he's the one, it's their technology that our military is using, and it's our, their technology that they have now to where they have elf weapons, extreme low frequency weapons they have remote uh, remote neural monitor uh, neural monitoring uh, the microwave weapons all of the satellite weapons the GPS laser beams a lot of our health technology is, is, is from the aliens chips are from aliens microchips we get all of this technology from the aliens in exchange for allowing them uh, to first of all deny their existence build bases for them under the ground uh, where exchange of technology takes place, and in exchange we look the other way and allow them to abduct humans all over the earth, all over the planet, all over this country. We allow them to abduct humans to use for food and also to use as hybrid experiments, and our government will deny their existence and look the other way. Our government provides the security for these underground bases that they have with the aliens. So you look at the figures of folks of 300,000 missing children a year, where do you think they're going? And how come over a 10-year span, this would be uh, 3 million children, they never show up anywhere? And that's just 10 years. We've been doing this since the 1930s, folks. We've been doing this since the 30s, exchanging technology for humans. Now, how many people uh, have gone, have, have, have came out with stories of being taken to these underground bases and seeing rows and rows and rows and cages of people? being held prisoner in these underground bases. There's one out in Texas, and they, they call that one night, uh, Nightmare Hall, and there's one out in Dulce Base, the fifth, sixth, and seventh levels, where human beings are kept in cages. And then there's a whole level on the seventh level where they're kept in cold storage. And, you know, I talked about, I mentioned soul scalping a little bit uh, earlier about what these aliens can do. What is soul soul scalping? You know, what they can do is they can take over a human's body and put that person's soul, because your body is just a shell for your spirit, your soul. They can take your soul and put it in a box. This sounds like something out of a fiction movie, I know. Uh, But they can take actually take your spirit and put it in a box somewhere and then take over your body and live like they're you. You know, and they can even download your memories and then upload them to them. So once they take over your body, upload your memories to their own minds. So they can totally take over who you were. And I know this sounds crazy, but it's what they're doing, folks. And they can do this. And and a lot of these people that have been soul scalped, uh, their, their souls are sitting in boxes at Dulcie Base, seventh floor, seventh level. You know, and... And so this is the stuff that goes on. This is the stuff the government keeps quiet. And, and that's why I asked you to call and let me know. Do you think we should have a disclosure? Should our government disclose what they've been doing and, and what they're doing? And, and should they disclose the existence of aliens and UFOs? Or are we better off not knowing? I mean, we already know. 